Yeah, it's cabin time, spring trip 2021. It'll be uh, me for a couple days, and then Sean, and then uh, the chairman and cooker heading up. Uh, unfortunately, a med medical man couldn't make it this year due to a couple of obligations that he had. Come on along, just me and you for a couple of days. I'll try to keep you entertained. Some good food coming up, and uh, as always, uh, just a good time here. Just a mellow time to kind of forget about things and just relax a little bit. That's what we're going for. Come on up. We'll go up the rest of the way. We'll open the cabin up. Uh, I've got a lot of stuff in that car. Uh, as a matter of fact, I couldn't have even fit Sean in there this time. There's so much stuff in there, and you'll see what we got. Time to get on to unpacking the Jeep. I've been here for 40 minutes or so. I've been avoiding it. But let's get in there and let's open the back up and see what we got here. Like I said, not even an inch to spare. <laughs> I used every bit of everything. From the Jeep inside, have everything in. Bag that's got drinks and a few other things in there. Brought up a new chair. Uh, sometimes those gravity chairs get a little bit, uh, a little bit much after a while. Just like to take a minute to thank one of my neighbors up here that came over, visited for a little bit, and helped me get this grill out of the car. As you can see, not sure if the perspective is there, but that thing is a monster box. 152 pounds. So there was no way that I would have got that out of the car myself i uh, have one beer in the cooler go with dinner and i think i'm gonna put a couple more in for later it's getting on mid-afternoon finally got everything kind of put away inside Let me go in and take a look here you see that table's cleaned off i got the echo flow river 600 on giving me just a little bit of lights i can run that for about 90 hours with that one light straighten them some spices up and everything we'll be needing our spices for our, our cooking competition that's coming up this weekend hopefully that'll be enjoyable uh, cook is going to make a meal and the chairman is going to make a meal you're going to use the same meat and uh there's probably some strip steaks and uh we're going to see who's is better one will be friday night one will be saturday night would have liked to have it together, do a, do a cook-off together, but uh, this is probably better. We're probably not going to waste some food this way. It's time to, to get out here and uh, grind that uh, sub or, or hoagie that, uh, that I picked up this afternoon. Now let's, let's take a look at uh, where I've got that at. Well, here I am at Wegmans. Going to get my uh, sub, hoagie, hero, whatever you want to call it for tonight. Uh, thanks to Matt for recommending Wegmans and stopping into their uh, deli in there and getting the, I think, Danny's favorite, which is a take on a Italian sub. So I'm going to go ahead and get that, throw it in the cooler and have that tonight. Might as well look for a beer while I'm in here, too. Like a, a Mind Hunt Haze IPA sounds like a good thing. Grab one of these. There's the sub shop right there. Just pick it up and go pay. Well, a good beer here. Thanks again for the suggestion, Matt. Uh, I'm sure it's going to be great. Looked uh, good when she was making it up. Grill over here heating up one last time. Uh, if all goes well tomorrow and I get that other one together. That's about 61, 62 degrees out here. 60, eh, low 60s in the cabin too, about 63. Oh, uh. I'm going to turn the gas on just in case I need it tonight. Yeah, there it is. Test it up a little bit. Onions, peppers, tomatoes, pickles. There's some dinner for tonight. A little V8 hydrate to go with it. Get on to that beer a little bit later. But I'm going to kick back and enjoy this. And uh, I know this is going to be fantastic. Well, I think you can hear that rain on the roof. 
Uh, it's coming down a little bit. Couldn't get the ball game on the radio. I don't know if I did, just didn't have enough patience to find it or what, but uh, that's okay. Going to go ahead and uh, use that Echo to fire up the TV and uh, and watch a movie with the uh, Mind Haze IPA that I just got today. So we'll see how this is and check the movie out. You know what? I'll catch you in the morning. Out here on the deck this morning. Uh, it's about uh, 58, I think, uh, temperature wise. Calling for maybe showers and thunderstorms today. Uh, pretty good night's sleeping. You slept pretty good last night, didn't you? It was nice. Had the rain on the roof at times. Uh, it was just a, just a good evening. I uh, came out here to enjoy some coffee this morning. If you get a chance, try the Kicking Horse Coffee. Pretty good. A little pricey. Uh, this is the Smart Ass uh, Medium. It's almost like a Dunkin' Donuts, but an upgrade of, of Dunkin' Donuts, I think. As you can tell, did not go out for turkey. As a matter of fact, made the decision not to bring my turkey stuff up this year. A uh, couple reasons. Turkeys have been having a pretty hard time in PA over the last few years. It was a pretty tough winter last, last year. I mean... We had, uh, I think there was 20, 25, 30 inches at times. Uh, hmm. Oh, that was a woodpecker. As a matter of fact, I just saw it go. It's one of them woody woodpecker big ones. And another reason I did have a, a good Delaware turkey season. Let's take a little bit of a look. Yeah, it's working its way across the edge of that mud. Probably getting some nice bugs and worms out of that. Seems to be coming over this way. Nothing like having a live decoy out in front of you. Rhino blind. Pretty pretty darn nice blind, I'll tell you that. Big. You can fit two guys in there easy. You could probably even squeeze three in if you wanted to. Calling it quits. For day three, I got a couple things to do today. Did find this nice shed today. Nice eight pointer. We're talking. That's a, that's a pretty nice deer right there. So uh, that was always a bonus. You find a nice shed, and this is. I mean, get my fingers around the bottom of this thing. It's pretty nice. So always good to see this. Uh, go. Let it bleach itself in the sun a little bit more and uh, put it with my collection. The end of day four for me as far as out here hunting. Uh, hopefully the wind's not too bad. Uh, another shed today. Uh, this one, pretty nice looking. Not quite as bitten up with the squirrels as the other one was. Uh, I'll go ahead and let this bleach in the sun for a little bit. That'll, that's pretty interesting. Kind of indicative on this farm, how sometimes you get some strange looking ones. Got the split brow tine, but it looks like it's a heck of a brow tine if that's what it is. Season's about getting to be about two weeks. Uh, didn't go out at all this week. Came out early this morning, had some gobbling, and then it stopped. And then four hens strutted in there, came into the, not strutted, but came into the field. And uh, there was a nice strutter following it. There he is out there laying. I just got him. The view from the blind, this probably looks like it's about 25, 30 yards at the most. Well, here it is. Great bird. I weighed on a luggage type scale, about 21 pounds, 10 inch beard, about one, one and a quarter inch spurs. Great bird, as you saw. And a couple nice sheds thrown in to, uh, for, as a bonus. So usually as I'm turkey hunting down there, I do do some uh, shed hunting. And uh, it was yeah, uh, pretty nice. They're the biggest ones I've ever found. I'm sure there's a few more down there, but uh, uh, they were nice. And turkey was great. And uh, canned it up uh, for future use. So it's uh, it got canned and uh, probably we go into some stews and soups and casseroles and things like that. On the agenda, put the grill together today and get that thing 
going, fired up, see how it is, seasoned up. To me, it would look like a beauty when it was in the store, and hopefully it'll look just as nice up here. Gonna have a little bit of a breakfast, nothing, nothing too fancy, waffles and sausages, and uh, then get on that grill. I started getting some parts out, trying to get everything out of the box, and then see where I have to go from here. Yeah, I'll get in there. About uh, halfway through, I think the hard part's done getting that uh, grill up onto the base just by myself. It really wasn't that bad. You know, a little bit more. Have the side shelves on. Here it is, all set and ready to go. Really nice. Uh, even has a little bit of a, a light thing. That's sort of a gimmick. Just shows you the little LED around the, each of the adjustment knobs for the side burner and the grill itself. But uh, real nice one, real heavy. Uh, it, was, uh, it was a pretty good one to have. It, it should last. Got a new grill cover for it. And uh, as long as we take care of it, keep it out of the rain, uh, it should be good. And hopefully it won't uh, have flames shooting out the side of it as usual. But uh, really want to thank the guys and a special shout out to Joe the Farmer who helped out on this too. Uh, Joe, I appreciate that. And for those of you that may not have checked his channel out before, I have mentioned it, but uh, check Joe out. Uh, he's a real down to earth guy. Uh, does some things around some property that he owns, 125, 135 acres and uh, has some nice deer, does a lot of things for it. I think last week or the week before he put out 600 pounds of uh, feed in his feeders for him. So real dedicated to, to keeping those deer healthy and, and some nice ones. So again, check out Joe's channel if you'd like. I gotta get this, uh, get these grates seasoned up. And again, this uh, this is the infrared. It almost looks like it's solid in there. I'll lift, the, I'll lift one of these grates up. They're pretty heavy. As you can see, this is the infrared piece, and then the burners are underneath of it. So hopefully the there'll be no dripping in there and uh, flare-ups, etc. Matt, who suggested that, the guy that uh, suggested a Wegmans yesterday for the sub hoagie, uh, he also suggested, hey, get a get an infrared if you uh, if you have a couple extra bucks. I have a lot of cardboard recycling here to get rid of a lot inside too probably when sean comes up tomorrow uh we'll break this grill down and get this trash in my car and maybe dump it on thursday morning just stop by one of my not mountain neighbors but neighbors that has a camp up this way that i conversed with for a few times uh whenever met uh john and his son and it was uh appreciate uh them having me over, nice coffee, and uh, just a little shooting the breeze, as they say. Learning a little bit about his camp and talking about hunting and the usual stuff when uh, when guys get together, talk about. Uh, again, John, I appreciate you having me over, and uh, good luck for turkey for the next day or so. I'm going to go ahead and uh, season up these, uh, actually the infrared plates. Don't really have to do the, the cooking grates themselves, but I'm putting some uh, avocado oil on the... Uh, the grates themselves, go ahead and burn this for about 15, 20 minutes at medium. Burning all the uh, oil off from the manufacturing process. Get this thing cleaned up for some good food tonight. 12, 14 minutes now. Uh, not seeing too much smoke coming out of it, just heat now. So I think it's, uh, it's probably about burned off. Take a quick look inside here. Oh yeah, yeah, exactly what they said it was gonna Turn to a darker color, the uh, the infrared um, section that they got down there. So, uh, I think we're about ready. Just a couple more minutes. Hey, fancy meeting you up here. A lot of junk, a lot of oak leaves in the gutter here. Uh, Going to go ahead and clean them out. Supposed to get some heavier rain uh, this afternoon or tomorrow. So I just wanted to get this front one at least cleaned out. I'll check the back in a, in a little bit. Super colossal shrimp, bacon. It's a good recipe right there. I gotta, uh, I gotta peel them and cut them a little bit. I'm gonna wrap them with a half a uh, piece of bacon here and then put those on the new grill. So that's dinner tonight with a little rice on the side. Got a little old bay. Super colossal shrimp. Uh, I've seen bigger. Put some cuts in them uh, along the inner side to, so they stretch flat a little bit more. You can see they'll lay flat a little bit better. So I'm gonna get some uh, Old Bay on these now, then go ahead and wrap them in bacon and put them in my tray over here. Go ahead and stretch that around. Uh, 
Look at that right there. That's going to be good. A little bit more Old Bay on the top and also hit it with just a little bit of garlic powder. Not garlic salt, but just garlic powder. And didn't put a ton of it on, but just a little bit to add some flavor. Looking pretty good to me. Nice uh, the orange color on the shrimp. They are big, which is why they can take the bacon wrap. Uh, if they were small, they'd be done well, well before the bacon, but uh, probably flip them another time and they should be just about ready. The finishing up here, I did try one and the shrimp is definitely cooked through. Bacon looks good. I don't mind a little bit uh, not crispy, crispy bacon. That's fine with me. Supper time tonight. Little yard bird. That's mispillion. That's near my house. And a little, little vegetable juice. Get some of that potassium back in. But good looking dinner. Well, that was a great, great dinner. Uh, Actually didn't finish it. I think I got three left, which I'll probably be having at about nine o'clock tonight for a little appetizer or a little snack later. But uh, good day today. Got that grill together. That was the biggest thing I had to do. Uh, weather on and off, rain showers, a little sun, rain. Not bad uh, for what I'm doing in here. So I'm going to sit out here on the deck for a little bit. Uh, enjoy this cigar. Fat Bottom Betty is what I have. And uh, that's a little collaboration, Deadwood and Drew Estates. I think I mentioned that before. But have a have one of these. Have a nice beer there, a little lager. And uh, I'm going to go in later and catch the movie Fargo. Uh, believe it or not, never saw it before. Just one of those things. For some reason, I never caught up to it. Uh, didn't ever try to avoid it, but uh, just never saw it. Picked it up the other day, so uh, watch that tonight uh, with another with another nice beer or something like that. I got a I got some uh, what is it Voodoo Rangers from uh, New Belgium. I'll probably have one of that. That's a stove pipe, the 19 ouncer. These are nine nine percenters too, so uh, that'll be a nice good night beer. So, but I'm gonna enjoy myself while I can out here. Dark over here, a little bit of blue over here behind me or to the side of me so uh like i said enjoy the cigar watch a little movie later well sean i'll be up tomorrow and uh don't have a lot of stuff planned i do want to new, put a new doorknob on uh, that's one of the things i want to do probably as he's making his way up i'll try to get that in place and um, then we're just going to kind of kick back around here and uh, have a nice uh cinco de mayo dinner and that's about it so uh hey look uh now, maybe I'll see you a little bit later for a snack, uh, or maybe I'll see you in the morning. Got some bacon cooking up, frittatas warming, and the waffle, blueberry waffle left over from yesterday. Started reading over the instructions for the lock on the door, and going to get started on that while Sean's making his way up, Syntex making his way up here. Uh, also at breakfast time, I got a tri-tip marinated up. Probably a good uh, seven hours marinate chili lime and uh, for Cinco de Mayo today. Want to put that tri-tip on the smoker. Uh, Going to stop down at Weiss or Tops tomorrow, get some steaks and get some ribs. So uh, that'll be tomorrow. But for today, uh, we'll see how that lock goes. I'm hoping it's just an easy on-off and uh, no shenanigans or anything like that. Rain on a roof, as usual. Spring trip, you gotta get this rain. Unsettled weather patterns, that's spring, that's for sure. Uh, let's see what we got here. All right, new lock is on, ready to go. I think it actually might be easier than the other lock. So a little bit of rain on the roof. Uh, well, I think one last pocket coming through, hopefully, and uh, that'll be it for today. It's it's dropped down. It's cool. You can see me in the, the zipped up jacket here. We're down to 49 or 50 uh, right now as we wait for uh, Sean to arrive, which it should be momentarily. I expect him to be here. The, uh, the Jeep coming in just about any time now. We'll get him settled in and 
see if we want any late lunch or just go a little bit of dinner or what. Uh, I just want to take a, a minute, give a shout out to uh, Dan up there in uh, Canada. He's got a nice uh, YouTube channel. He could use some support from you guys. It's a nice uh, family and camping channel, outdoors channel. I think you'd like, kind of it goes along with what I'm doing here. So I think if you like mine, you probably like him. Is DC Outdoors, and there is a lot of those on YouTube. Uh, Dan's the one that's kind of, he has his uh, image kind of look like a cartoon or a line drawing. And uh, I'll put the links below. Also, you can follow him on Twitter if you want. And uh, I'll, again, I'll have the link below. Uh, but give Dan, a, give Dan a look, give him some support, and uh, I know he'd really appreciate it. Like I said, he does a lot of the, a lot of the same type of stuff that I do, but it has that uh, Western Canada uh, feel. Hey, here comes Syntex 77. Got a lot of rain coming up today. It took him a while due to the rain. How much stuff you got in the back? Not much, right? There's nothing. Nothing? Back, really. Okay. Oh, I just come up about two feet. You got it. The old Rubicon. You got some mud splashed on them. Uh, yeah, it's good for that. What was that, uh, coming up the road? Yeah. Yeah. Look at that. The mudder. We'll leave that on for a couple of weeks for credibility. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. All right. Well, hell, welcome to the spring trip 2021. That's right. 213. Let's do it. Smoker box have a pecan, and I like pecan because it's a little, a little uh, lighter than some of the other ones, like apple wood, etc. But uh, we'll go ahead and get this going. Close her up for a minute. As I mentioned earlier today, you got the tri tip, and uh, this is around where the sirloin is on a cow so you has more of that good sirloin taste to it but a little bit more tender kind of briskety did the uh, chili lime for Cinco de Mayo today we're gonna have some uh, some basically some south of the border themes along with this so I'm gonna take it put it in the smoker with that pecan bring them up to I don't know one 130 ish 125 130 and do the reverse here on them popularized out in California and then I think it's kind of made its way east to us a lot of the times they cook those on the Santa Maria style grills the kind you have the fire on below and you have a little crank and you can raise and lower your uh, your grate so we'll go ahead and uh, get this up you know, about 250 ish 275 probably with this and uh, I'll go ahead and probe it, bring it up to 130 and sear it and have all the rest of the stuff with us. So for now, hopefully won't get too much colder out here. It'll look like we're having a little problem with our smoker. Uh, hopefully it's not going to mess anything up. Not tonight, but tomorrow with the ribs. I really wanted to get some ribs going in this thing for everybody. Uh, I got a text in to Eric. We'll see if he replies and has any words of advice. I mean, we did everything. We even swapped out the regulator and uh we're still not getting a, a warm enough temp so i'm going to move it around front and just do the indirect out there 250. well we moved it out here uh like i said we've got the call into eric and i'll talk to steve about it a little bit but uh we're gonna go ahead and have this for cinco de mayo again chili lime chipotle potatoes chipotle cheddar potatoes little string beans which is just adding a little bit of green the beer we're going to have tonight, Lobos Lager. Lobos Lager. This is brewed in Maryland, but Lobos means wolf in Spanish. So we're going to have this. It's it's their Mexican style beer. What will there be? Corona or whatever the whatever those. But uh, we're going to have a nice Cinco de Mayo. And if you know the channel, Cinco de Mayo. Hey, that's George's birthday. Happy birthday, Georgie boy. Uh, Twelve years old today. Uh, he's quite a cat, world traveler, and he's uh, quite a quite a guy. He's he's definitely our best friend at home. So uh, we're gonna enjoy this nice Cinco de Mayo. And again, George, I hope you're having a great day, and and happy birthday to you, buddy. It's looking pretty good. I flipped them upside down, getting that uh, crust seared up a little bit. 
So a few more minutes, this will be done, and we'll be plating up soon. Now well, here's our meal for this evening. Got the tri-tip chili lime, green beans, chipotle cheddar, mashed potatoes, a little Lobo spear. Looks like a steakhouse in here. Mm, that's what we want to hear. Yep. Oh boy. Well, Sean's up and ready. Oh yeah. Make uh, he's got the uh, AeroPress espresso maker. He's gonna start some espresso for us before we have some corned beef hash and uh, fried eggs. Go ahead, Sean. Yep. Um, water's ready. It's ready. Yeah. Here's the uh, thing. Here's the. Oh, thanks. Yeah, I got things hot. About uh, about 41 out, 42 out this morning. Sun's out for a change. First time I've seen the sun. I think really seen it. And uh, 61 in here. Well, it was a pretty good night with just the, the gas heater going. Doesn't take much water. Mm -hmm. You let it sit or you just go ahead and do it right away? You uh, stir for 10 seconds. Mm -hmm. And that filters pretty much doesn't let the water through by gravity. Or if it does, it's real slow. Mm -hmm. Which gives you a chance to stir. And then just force it through. It's pretty tight seal in there, huh? Yeah. And like French presses is more pushing it all through. Yeah, and that's it. And yeah. then yeah. all the coffee is like a hockey puck right there. Oh, look at that. So when it cools off a little bit, you just twist this off and pop the grinds out, and it pretty much is clean. Okay. There you go, espresso. Espresso, alrighty. Have the old corned beef hash frying up over here. Wait till that gets a little crispy and put down the put down the eggs over here in a minute. Enough like some corned beef hash and sunny side up eggs to go with it, that's for sure. What's on store this morning? All this cardboard, trash, plastic, styrofoam, cardboard. Let's go outside here. And this old piece of junk grill, it's time for him to go to the dump. Or at least to recycle, maybe they can turn it back into a beer can or something. <laughs> that thing is shot. So We got this kind of disassembled a little bit to get it into my back of my car, and we'll go down to the dump and, like I said, try to recycle some of it and throw out the rest of it. Now, uh, that's the set. I think your eggs are just about ready. Sunny side up good? Oh, yeah. There it is. It'll... It'll fuel us up to do those chores we have to do in town today. Uh, do a little shopping in the market today, too, for some ribs and steaks. Sean and I just enjoyed that uh, that good breakfast. Uh, Sean hadn't had it before, and uh, he, I think he was impressed. Uh, quite impressed. It's a favorite now. Yeah, uh, good tasting. No salt on the eggs. Uh, there's enough salt in that corned beef hash. Uh, and those eggs kind of just absorb some of that, and then it, it tastes really good. So enjoyed that this morning you saw the stuff we got in the town so we're just going to sit back a little bit have some coffee uh enjoy some nice morning time on the deck here it's still in the mid 40s but with the sun here and no wind it's nice enough just to sit out here and relax and, and have a cup of coffee and uh then we'll get the the jeep loaded up we'll take you in town and show you all the good spots like the dump and uh let's see weiss and eh, who, uh, who knows what else we're going to get into feed store all the good all the good welder hot spots as they say yeah regular anthony bourdain of wellsboro mm -hmm. uh, that's for sure you don't have to you don't have to jo join the navy to see the world just follow our channel <laughs> the dump. Uh, so we'll just we'll just sit for a bit and uh and we'll we'll load up and you'll see that monstrosity get out and and, and we'll get into town I like the sights and sounds of the smells of the dump. Here goes Sean, get rid of one bag of trash. We'll get this thing over in here, and this is the metal recycling, so that's good that it's getting recycled. Absolutely. Crap on there. Oh yeah, I'm up grease. Uh, well, we'll 
we'll see what we can do. I think I got a, I think I got something in the, in the glove compartment for that. Okay. Here in the console. Ready? Oh, it's going down. Hold on. Ready? Yep. Nice shot. Oh, this crap will score over the reset. When we get all this other stuff out, I'll take care of that crap. So. Okay. Here, I'll give you something for your hands. All right. Yeah, it's not that bad. Dump is over with. Next stop, uh, feed store, I think. Yeah, let's, let's, we're done. Maybe Dunham's first. Okay. They have any lucky buck believe it or not I had to come all the way to mansfield to find eight stakes and two ribs now what's the matter with wellsburg yeah, those stores got to get their act together but yeah walmart tried to give them local stores a chance two of them and they actually had nothing in either one of them that's crazy but let's get back to the cafe right here i have a couple of tree line game cameras joe the farmer sent me these these are actually prototypes right now that are going to be available in tractor supply uh, soon. Not sure when, probably within the next few months. But he sent me a couple of them to test out, and I'm going to go ahead and put it up. I'm going to put some more Lucky Buck out, uh, another mineral rock, and uh, go ahead and put a camera at a different angle over there and see if I can uh, get, some, uh, get some deer pictures. So next time I come up, I'll, I'll pull the card and uh in the video we'll we'll see how they, they they do but pretty nice cameras a 20 megapixel 80 foot detection uh 720 video and supposedly the the battery lasts about a yearish and it does come with the batteries which is nice and it comes with a 32 gig card so like i said i don't know what the price is going to be the price point or so but these are tree line which is basically tractor supply kind of line of products the tree line stuff so I'm going to go ahead and, and uh, take a look at the directions, learn how to use it, and go ahead and set this up. Also has a spare battery tray with it, so when you know you want to come swap out batteries, you don't want to be in your spot too long, you have your spare battery tray already loaded, you drop it, swap your card, swap your battery, and off you go. So uh, Pretty nice. Like I said, uh, next time I come up, we'll pull the card, and we'll, we'll see how they do. Right, got the camera up. Haven't set the video. So when I come back, we should see some good videos. This is our mineral pit right behind us, and it should get some good videos. I've been having deer coming in. Take a look at some of these pictures that are coming in from some of the deer. Now they're coming in on a regular basis, and uh, they're looking pretty good. I'm not seeing the antlers, but so we got him set. I just have to remember to turn them on. <laughs> and we got a pit right here. This is the uh, the wild game block thing that's in there. Uh, just an FYI, I've been picking these up a dollar at Walmart. They're actually back with the horse stuff in mind for some reason. I don't know if that was a mistake or what, but that's why they were there. I bought like eight of them. Like I've said before, not a wild game fan, but when you have something like this for a buck, I'll take it every day. This one's cracked. I'm just going to kind of drop the blocks around. So I'm going to do about a half a bucket or so. I'm going to put a, another little bit down on my other camera over here. But remember, you get your lucky buck down or any mineral. Remember to come back and refresh it a few times, uh, especially now. And then as the summer goes on, maybe not quite as much, depending on your game laws. But... Uh, like I said, half a bucket. 
mostly up top here. A little bit of stump. That's good. And I'll save this. Next time I come up in June, I'll put the other half out. Just a little bit of clover coming up so far, uh, but it's it's still been cold up here. As a matter of fact, a couple nights ago, probably it was about a week ago, I saw snow on the camera. Uh, so we're still still getting cold here, not enough for that clover to quite take off yet. Like I said, I saw some, some sprouting up, but they're probably like an inch or so. We're getting the smoker boxes ready. Had the chips smoke uh, soaking for a little while. We're using pecan on this one again. Again, I like the pecan just because it's not a it's a softer uh, smoky flavor. So I got the Weber. This was a that's just like four bucks on Amazon. It was pretty good. Spices we're going to be using when those ribs come out. Mine, Kinder's wood-fired garlic. For the other guys, sweet and spicy head country, and some uh, sauces that aren't out yet. Sean's about got the uh, boxes in, open her up, and we're going to start to preheat that as I get the ribs out and spice them up. A little apple cider vinegar on top of it, just so my spice will never have too much of that apple cider vinegar. This is the good stuff. This is organic with the mother in it. I'm going to go ahead with the Kinder. I did try this out at home. And uh, pretty good taste, pretty good. Let's see if I can get it flowing good here. Do the same to the other side. These are St. Louis. Uh, not baby backs. I don't particularly care for baby backs. They're a hit or miss, I think. St. Louis, I think you're you're better off with. I think it makes a better rib. Ooh, oh boy. Alright, let's get him in there. The Head Country Championship seasoning, sweet and spicy for the guys. That's for Steve and, uh, and the chairman, Steve and Mike. I can see some pepper flakes in there, definitely red pepper flakes. He's got a little bit of the, little bit of the garlic on there, but I think it's probably just going to help. A... Oh boy! Right before I opened it, it was about 270 in there. That smoke is pouring out. Of there. I'm probably going to probably going to bring it down to more closer to 250 ish. It's been about a half hour. Another spritz with the apple cider vinegar. Keep them moist. Not ready for sauce yet, of course, but uh, bring them out. The head countries, it's sweet and spicy. You'll get the head country, and that's living. This is Carolina a mustardy type sauce, but it does have a bite to it. I mean, I'm going to do the uh, the Franklin method. I'm going to take my squirt bottles, fill them up or so with some apple cider vinegar. Mix the uh, spice, mix the uh, barbecue sauce in, and go ahead and cover, coat them that way. Now I'll be doing that. Uh, that won't be for like an hour and a half or so. But get the stuff out here, put it in the shade over here, and we'll be ready when we're ready. I think there's nothing left to do except sit down and have a some type of soft drink or something or whatever. <laughs> could be worse. It could be worse. <laughs> it could be worse. Two hour mark. So I'll we'll go ahead and do some spritzing. Oh boy, look at that. Oh, they're starting to look pretty good. Absolutely. Keep them nice and moist. And Sean and I are waiting for the ribs to cook. Trying a new game out. This one is Blitzkrieg, World War II in 20 minutes. Just our speed. Yes. <laughs> Fill them up, apple cider vinegar. Now I'll go ahead and use the, the regular Head Country original with the red top for this one and the yellow since we're kind of, this is a little bit of the uh, sort of mustard based. I'll use that. So fill them up about the same. I'll go 
with the mustard. Right, get some tin foil ready here. We're ready for the wrap up. The Carolina one out. Man. Looking pretty good. You want to take a quick peek in there? We're looking pretty good. That looks very nice. Not rubbing it in or anything. It's just going to sit on there. Uh -oh. Didn't even get splashed. Nope. Yeah, he's bigger than the other one, right? Yeah, I think it is. An hour, the usual hour. Yeah, I wonder who's coming. Let's go through and see who it is. Oh, I hear some music playing. Yep. Um, Last resort. Walmart. <laughs> Walmart. That's all we had left. Would you drive the Mansfield? Yeah. yeah. Cleaned off. All right. There you go. Yeah, give Mike one of those. See if he likes that one. I get one rib. One. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's a sampler. Yep. Mm -hmm. Oh, there we go. Looking good. I think we got some good ribs here. Oh yeah. So Look let's. At that. Uh, oh yeah. Ooh. Hold on, top of the money shot. Mm. Smoke ring. So, money oh. shot. Juice, mm. juice drip. <laughs> All right, I think we got it. <laughs> <laughs> Just for that, I'm not putting you in this. Oh, oh. damn it! It's only, it. it's only you. It's only you two. Oh, anyway. yeah. <laughs> I see you there. Hey, take hey. a look at this. Hey, you ever sit in gum? Oh, <laughs> it's all the way down to my ankle. Oh, <laughs> look at it over here. I told hey. you, drop. Stepping on my nuts. Who got the gaba go? They Coffee. keep the warmth in. Dude, you got those nice stick jaws. Yeah, these are Sherpa ones. Mm. 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 Nice. Let me get that. Huh? Let me get that. <laughs> let me get up in them. Let me get them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I just meant let me have them. I didn't mean, no, but now you. that Tom's up the ante, <laughs> yeah. I'm in. Okay, well, when I'm done with them, you can have them. Put it right through there. All right. So yada, nothing yada, from yada, 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 yada. me and Sean were chatting. Nothing from the logging guy, huh? No. I sent him. You know, the, yep. I copied you guys yeah, on it. Yeah, I got it. We're getting it.
Fish on. First catch. <laughs> nice brownie. Just a little brownie. First catch. First catch. Nice. Dude, this is a nice camping spot. Fly the fish up right here. Yeah. yeah. Let's do it fresh. Calmino in here. Uh, another, another spot in here. There's definitely fish in there. We can see them. Yeah, it's a nice palomino. I don't know if it'll come across on the video, but uh, he's in there. But they're not fighting so far. I think there's too much talking and not enough fishing going on here. Get that on tape? You turned it off. I got no. I, I had it. It might have been sideways, yes, but I think it I got. Doesn't count. Yeah. The yeah. kid had him hooked, Tom. Hopefully, I hooked him right. Boy, these uh, no, these no. these four inchers are really just coming in hot and heavy. Tom, you can eat these. These are called. Oh, I no. I'm just fish sticks. Fish sticks. Make a nice little taco. Like this? Taco, fish tacos. No! Oh! <laughs> Hold on, Steve. Nope. Get this! Woo! I gotta come over somewhere. Fish. Get some good fish that one. Yeah, Sean, you wanna try to get over without me falling in? It's still on. Thanks. The reveal. Look at that. I like it. Yep. And this guy will beat the shit. Bring it over if you can. I want to get some. You want to get some pictures? Well, it's not on film. Didn't happen. It's back in. It's been released. You can see it's swimming right over that log right now. There he is. There he goes. He's okay. Well, time to stroll into the burning barrel for lunch. What did you end up getting? Just bacon cheeseburger? Same as you, man. Yeah. Bacon cheeseburger. We just grabbed it off. You got a dry ass burger. Dry, uh, yeah. Dry yeah, ass burger. Yeah, the kid's burger. Are you surprised you got a bacon cheeseburger? Uh, that's here. Okay. And here. Yep, here's one. Yep. Chainsaw work this afternoon after lunch. <laughs> I got some t shirts Tim sent down from Massachusetts. You got one for the chairman. Thank you. One for syntax. Right. I think his wife did the wrap job. Tim, we appreciate yes. it. You thinking of the thinking of the camp? Yes. Oh hey now. What's your say? I'd like that. Oh, you're different. Oh yeah. Yeah. <laughs> the yeah. chairman. Uh -huh. <laughs> What's your say? Says I am a chef because I don't mind hard work. If I wanted to do something easy, I'd call your mom. <laughs> oh, <wow. laughs> so yeah. Nice. What you get, well, Thomas? I got. Uh, looks like uh, weekend forecast: cigars with a chance of bourbon. All right. Yeah. And this is from 
Tim. Tim. Tim up in Massachusetts. In Massachusetts. Thank you, Tim. Wow. Thanks, Tim. Hey, I'll be Tim. rocking this sucker tomorrow. <laughs> yeah. I already brought one t shirt <laughs> off of me. Awesome, dude. Hey, thanks again, Tim. We got uh, Eric's is uh, is over there waiting for him for when he comes up. <laughs> hey, welcome to uh, Camp Cookoff. Uh, the next couple of nights, we're going to have uh, each chairman and camp cook cook some New York strip steaks, the size of their choice, and they're going to be judged by Sean. Now, you know, here at the camp, we only enjoy the best of stuff here. We're going to see who can cook the best. So again, welcome to the camp cook-off. First up is the chairman. Yep. He decided to go first. Uh, he's got a new grill to work with. It's a little bit unfamiliar. Very unfamiliar. But uh, from what we look like, he's got some... It's a power guy. Asparagus and uh, mac and cheese. Hands clean. I just sanitized. Up, sanitized. And now he's gonna cut some asparagus up. And uh, then he's gonna have to go to the pantry and pull a spice out for these strip Ooh. steaks. Yep. Each guy will be cooking very similar strip steak on the night. So first up. The chairman with his asparagus and mac and cheese. We'll see how he does. Our guest judge, he'll That's be judging on true. about four categories. He'll be scoring them up. That's right. We're at the pantry right now. Tough decision. Tough decision. So. He's, looking, he's looking to see. We're going to see what he's going to grab. He's got choices. I just straightened that thing out. It looks like he's going for the Montreal seasoning. Okay. Or... And apple, apple wood. He's like one of those top chefs going to the pantry, pulling, pulling things out. Then we'll decide what he wants to do. He's got a steak. So I think he's choosing apple wood. A little apple wood, Thomas. Apple wood, ladies yeah. and gentlemen, can be a, a difficult flavor. All right, to pull off. Yeah, well, we'll see how he makes out with this. Doing a little press and rub. Mm. He does have the gloves on. Yeah. 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 Making it sanitary. Yeah. Really beating that. He's man. doing an Ohio rub. <laughs> and that means you won't show up. <laughs> Let's spank. Let's help him. There, there we go. There we go. All Thomas. Right. Yeah. Uh, I'm in the middle down here. Yeah. Yeah, I go middle. Middle low. cold? Yeah. Maybe a little less. All right. Steak time. Stick it in the front. Or get another one in the back. Yeah. Like that. Let me get these. And right. then you might want to check your tent down All right. in front here. They're... Yeah, they're going towards low. I keep them probably medium. All right, right there. Yeah. All right. Medium they are. I'm going to get a little time piece action. You'll know, Tom. What? You want to ch check some of the other ones? You can. Give it a minute. I want it to. I want the cheese to get a little on it. Okay. Right, buddy. Here we are, Sean is sitting down in front of it, uh -huh. walking uh -huh. it over. Uh -huh. We have a New York strip steak. Uh -huh. That's nice. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. We got asparagus with cheese All right. and mac and cheese. Right. Going in. Uh oh. Uh -oh. First cut. Go ahead. Ooh, sounds raw. No, it's cutting good. Ooh, it's good. got. Oh, Tom, it's got. It's red. That's how I like it. But that's good. Wow, he's being nice. Okay. That no, I'm not. like a raw cut. No, that was good. No. Well, let's let's talk about uh, my Sam. dinner for a minute. Mm -hmm. What did what uh, what did you think? What was your overall impression? I tell you what. I was pretty happy with it. Presentation, good. Creativity, steak, awesome. Uh, macaroni and cheese, obviously, from Frozen, so you can't give a max score mm. on that. 
mm -hmm. for creativity. But I'm going to say it's pretty darn good. I do have the scorecard and uh, that'll remain secret for another 24 hours. So next up, Cam Cook to see if he can keep his title as the Cam Cook. Claim up. Oh, there we go. This chairman's uh, getting ready for Blackwell today. Mm -hmm. And uh, got Cook over there getting ready. And we're going to see what Blackwell has to offer. And Greg want to appreciate it. The guys Greg, have the, thank you. Yep. The guys have the, uh, shot. the lures already tied up on the lines. And that's the first one that's going to be going in the water today. So we'll, we'll see how it does. I think they read your instructions and know how to know how to run them. I think uh, there they are. All right. Well, Sean and I'll uh, be observing. We'll we'll catch up to you. We'll see you guys in a little bit. Filling up the uh, Peterson Dracula this morning with a little mountain camp, and I think this is Cornell and Deal Mountain Camp. Oh, piping. Piping. Yeah. Got my Dunkin' Donuts this morning. Oh, no. You got piping and Dunkin'? You're yeah. Piping and Dunkin'. I'll go ahead over and, and watch those guys on the bridge and see how they do. There's Steve over there, Greg. Third cast, and uh, he's he's got it already. Got a hit. Got a hit. Here's Mike over here. Here we are at Blackwell. A nice spot, Blackwell. I just enjoyed a nice pipe and coffee this morning as the guys fish. Nice background. Already had one on from the uh, lures. Just walking around up here a little bit and uh, seeing a good half a dozen trees, maybe more. It looks like it had been knocked down with a, by some beavers. And they're definitely chewed, it's not an axe. So, uh, pretty interesting to see that, don't see it too often. Well, trip has been going pretty good so far. Weather has been, you know, on and off. A little bit of that, that rain, but that's okay. We'll, uh, we'll do a little bit more cooking this afternoon, but uh, for now we're just gonna enjoy Blackwell and what it has to offer. Blackwell is a big spot for boats, for 
just personal people and uh, you can actually get uh, out of Ansonia there's a couple outfitters up there that'll you can cast off in there and then they'll pick you up here or even farther down Pine Creek and it looks like one of them may be up there is there's another eight or nine pulling in right now eight or nine kayaks here they are shoving off let me go down have some fun down Pine Creek Now well, Steve's got another fish. He just dropped a moron. on. <laughs> Greg, I, I need help. <laughs> help me out. I'm doing everything with your stuff, buddy. Steve's hitting him, you're not. I even read the direction. <laughs> That's what you get. Someone read him through him. <laughs> It's only three o'clock, but contestant number two over here is already starting to get ready. Now he's even doing the sides. So we have to say Mike did that too. A little bit unorthodox the way Mike seasoned his up. We got butter going on. Looks like some mashed potatoes. And what homemade broccoli rob in that one? Or at least broccoli rub. It'll be a garlic. It's homemade. I mean, I just yeah. bought broccoli and so it'll be, well, my version of broccoli. Broccoli. Feels Bro good. Broccolini. Broccolini. Nice. We'll, okay. we'll see how it comes out. Yeah, Sean's over there getting a campfire together for after dinner. And we're back here. About ready for number two, contestant number two to go ahead and put his steaks on right now. It's the exact same steaks as last night. And here he is. It's not supposed to burn. Not supposed to. They certainly looking good. I judge on one thing. You'll judge on the whole whole piece. You may take away because of one thing. That's a nut. They look they look pretty good. Ain't gonna lie. Broccoli. Right. Broccoli. Potatoes look a little soupy. But, oh, okay. We're all just gonna dig in and take some out. Okay. Yeah, I want to try one time. You know. No you cheddar or bacon. I mean, no, nothing on it. Mm. Some kind of something on there. Mm. Yeah. You know, Mike played it up too. I did. No, presentation is mm -hmm. right in Ooh. Mm. Right, I'm trying to help you, Steve. Yep. Yeah. And there's the steak well, I mean, with some butter yes. on it. Oh. Mm. Oh. Steak. Looking okay. good. That looks good. All right. Do you want me to put some potatoes on the plate for you? Some slop? Yeah, I mean, if Steve's yeah. not doing a proper okay. presentation. Yeah. Oh, my yeah. gosh. There go. So there's um, that potato bit. soup. Potato soup. Right. <laughs> yeah, they, they just don't look good. chunky. Yeah. That's all. Yeah, no, it's fine. Can I have some porridge? Mm -hmm. <laughs> right. there's, 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 the, there's the judge's plate. Judges about ready for plate. go for a bite or two. Eight. We're gonna shut it down for now, Eight and we'll come back with the with the judges' score, mm. and then my final uh, presentation of the uh, the title of 
best chef for the oh, for the cook, yeah. camp. Sean trying to tab you or figure out the score. It's tough. We're not yeah. just talking about flavor. That's for sure. This is there's, a whole meal. There's presentation. There's meal compatibility. There's creativity and Listen, flavor. Listen, I'm going to tell you something. You guys yeah. hand me that award. I'm yeah. going to turn that son of a bitch sideways <laughs> and stick it straight up your candy ass. I, I don't think I want that. So think... zero. <laughs> <laughs> Sneak, see, this is a case that your product is fantastic, just... but you're a jerk off. <clears throat> and now you're going to lose. Mm. Yeah. All right, he's done. All right. Is it, right. it's going into the secret envelope. When it, when's this coming out? Right now. Well, what are we good? What are we going to do? Like, by the fire, the or fire. what are we thinking? Over, over the fire. Yeah. Yeah. Let's light this bitch mm -hmm. up. Mm -hmm. All right, let's yep. do it. I have in my hand the scores. Have not been tabulated yet. <laughs> but I will be announcing this around the campfire a little bit later. As if anybody cares. Wow. Everybody. Yeah. And that's everybody you cares. A championship and that's how you that's how that's the guy yep. you're giving a championship yep. to. That's how you don't get sponsors. That's for off. sure. Yep, right. I don't even know the winner. You no, know you don't. Because I just scored it. You that's correct. He looks bad as f though, right? Uh -huh. Like he looks like he's ready to kill somebody. In my hand right here. I've tabulated the score, and uh, it's very interesting. For the first cook-off that we've had at the camp, our winner this year is the chairman! The chairman! The chairman! Yeah! Cooking for life. Look at that victory the lap. Chairman, 36. To Camp Cook 34. Wow, that is close. Nope, he's not going to do it. And you know, wait, he might be. Hold on. <laughs> I like it though. <laughs> Fast on the draw. Yeah, That's how you do it. I rolled out of that. Yep. I rolled out of that. See, it was, dude, I actually ate the boot. <laughs> oh, stutter. Dude, that was not. <laughs> it was like. <laughs> I did come down, and then what'd you try to do? Get me in Get it? Get around the back and ah. see your head? Yeah. But the presentation oh. right, cost right. Steve. Two points. Ooh. Also, Can't live menu, off presentation. menu uh, compatibility also cost them three points. Ooh. Creativeness cost them a point. Ooh. But the overall flavor, Steve was the winner. No, he no. just didn't care enough. Wow. Make, make his dish look good. <laughs> wow. That is rough. <laughs> that is that is biased. Let me ask your viewers. All right. Yeah. Don't cut him off. Let him go. This is like CNN. It now is not fair. Huh? What it looks like? Yeah. Or do you just want to eat it? I mean, apparently I scored it and you lost. You don't care. All right. Well, listen. So, I'll say that your steak was... Definitely very, good. Uh -huh. very, very good. Yeah. yeah. And the flavor, he, he won flavor. by, four, by I actually, whopping four points. Yes, it, it yeah. was very good. Absolutely. Now you're turning on me. Yeah, now he's turning. Now he's, he's going to get nasty. <laughs> wow. The rest of the night, the that mac and cheese paired oh pretty God. well. Yes, oh, my God. That guy. Well, we had some fun with this. Hope everybody enjoyed it. I know there's no hard feelings we're, um, between the guys. We're but... uh, we're gonna have a recount eventually. A the recount. Voting system. Yeah. <laughs> obviously hacked by Iranians. Yeah. Do we have the votes from Georgia? Uh, no, they're not in. Oh, they're, no. they're not in yet. Mom and Joy Wagon. <laughs> Come on, man. <laughs> I'm the one that brought high but you can be under pressure. Uh, I don't know what to say to that. <laughs> that better make it. Yeah. Oh. Yep. And I'd like, like to thank our uh, judge, Syntax77, for his... I uh, really put my all into it. Yep, that's for sure. <laughs> I'll be honest. I did not look at either score. 
I did it honestly. Mm -hmm. I think everyone is on the same page. Fine by me. You just didn't want to suck your pride off and, and present it to the judge. I'm here to cook. Yeah, there a was a little active. bit of like a standoff. Oh, yes. Yeah, there was, like, there was an attitude. Yeah, like, you got to present. Hey, I'm the chef. It's food service. I'm yeah. the chef. And you were like, eh, you should be happy to get this. <laughs> and then, no you know steak what? for you. No steak yeah, for you. Exactly. Yeah. And then you get that. And then you get that. There you go. Yeah. Oh, it doesn't even go in the fire. No, you That's have to pull it, it back out again and do it again. Ooh, I heard Take that. two. Take two. Reach yeah. for that fire, Sean. Thermals. We're catching yeah, thermals. Yeah, we're catching thermals. Here we go. There you go, Tom. Wow. That is just like artistic that. Mm -hmm. and sad that and beautiful. Sad. All at the same time. Mike, what size boot do you wear? I wear an 11, Dad. Get a 15. <laughs> <laughs> Why am I getting a 15? You won for <laughs> To move your toes. A 15. <laughs> 15. I think the first pair I bought, Tom, were like 15. Uh, mm. They were like, he's like. Oh, he told me the same thing. Tom, he would, <laughs> he'd go, you know, your parents, you start yeah, here for your yeah. toe. My toe is like here. He's like, yeah, <laughs> it's that's, like that's how you want them. <laughs> you <laughs> want them. You want them to bend four inches when you're walking. <laughs> I keep tripping. <laughs> I feel like a, Dad, I the got clown. On. Yeah. Uh. <laughs> now climb the tree and I'll be the good friend. And that's in the thick And I know it's never gonna end. Cause you've been a good friend. Wrapping up here. We'll see you in a couple minutes. Well, I started this video at the gate, so I might as well go ahead and wrap it up here at the gate. I want to thank the guys, Syntex 77, Sean, Mike the Chairman, Steve Camp Cook, uh, for having a great time this week. Uh, really enjoyed ourselves as always. I was up here for seven days now, and it just goes just like that when you're up here. It just, just seems every day seems to be a blur. But uh, we had some good times, good stuff, and uh, this is White Rook 85. Take care. We'll catch you next time.